Hi, welcome back to Sapninga. Let us train together. In today's video, we are going to discuss about third class levers. A third class lever is a lever with its point of effort between the fulcrum and the resistance or the load. In a third class lever, the effort is applied between the fulcrum and the load. The force and the load move in the same direction. A good example of a third class lever is in our body. Our arm is a good example of a third class lever. When we pick up heavy objects, the third class lever doesn't always make the job easier for us and doesn't give mechanical advantage. No matter where we apply the force, the force that we must apply must always be greater than the force of the load. In fact, the effort needed to use in third class levers is greater than the force they can move. In this case, mechanical advantage is lesser than one. A fishing rod is another example of a third class lever. The load is of course the big fish that we will want to catch, which will be at the end of the line at the top of the rod. The beam is the rod itself and the force is the person who is reeling the fish using the rod handle between the two ends. The fulcrum is the bottom part of the handle of the rod. Other examples of third class levers include tweezers, a broom, ice tongs and etc. Even many sport activities use third class levers to increase the distance the load moves compared to the distance the effort moves. For example, the tennis and cricket players move their hands, which is the effort, a small distance to make the load, which is the ball, travel a long distance. Third class levers have these advantages. They can move long distances relative to the effort because the load moves in the same direction as the force you apply. They are easy to use. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video useful, then please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Till then, bye-bye. See you later.